section review questions. Question number one. Why are sound waves in air characterized as longitudinal? In sound waves, uh, remember the uh, particles are vibrating in the same direction of the motion of the wave. And particles are uh, vibrating back and forth. Wave is also traveling uh, in the horizontal direction, in the same direction of the vibration of the waves. That's why we say as the sound waves as longitudinal waves. Question number two. Draw the sine curve that corresponds to sound wave depicted below. So uh, sine curve, uh, in fact, is the curve uh, which represents how pressure and or density changes along the uh, longitudinal wave. So sound wave is a longitudinal wave. That's why we can uh, understand how pressure and the density is changing by looking at this graph. Uh, at the, the region at which the uh, compression uh, occurs uh, corresponds to a crest, which is the region of high pressure and high density. The region at the uh, density is lowest uh, or pressure is lowest uh, corresponds to a trough, uh, which is the rarefaction. Another compression corresponds to crest. Another rarefaction corresponds to trough and compression again crest. So this graph is a sine curve which represents how uh, pressure or density of the uh, sound wave changes. Question number three. What is the difference between frequency and pitch? Remember frequency is a objective measure of the uh, vibration you know, which is, uh, depends on the source only but the pitch is uh, what we hear, what we perceive. Yeah, and that's why pitch is subjective, it depends on the observer, but frequency is objective quantity, which depends on the source. What source uh, vibrates in one second, it's called the frequency. What you perceive, what the listener perceives, is called the pitch. Question number four, it says that, what are the differences between the infrasonic, audible and ultrasonic sound waves? Remember, uh, if the sound waves are frequency is between uh, 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz, so it is the audible region. But if the frequency is smaller than 20, it is the infrasonic. If the frequency is greater than uh, 20,000 hertz, it is the ultrasonic sound waves. Question number five. Explain why the speed of sound depends on temperature of the medium. Why is this temperature dependence more noticeable in gases than in solid or liquid? Uh, if temperature increases, the particles are vibrating to oscillate in a longer amplitude. If the temperature is small, if the uh, amplitude of the vibration is like this, if temperature increases, then amplitude of the vibration becomes uh, increases. That's why um, the particles, uh, average uh, distance between the particles becomes uh, becomes uh, smaller. Uh, why is it so noticeable in gases? Because in gases particles are very far from each other. Uh, when they vibrate, their average distances, when they vibrate, start vibrating with greater amplitude, the average distances between the particles uh, decreases. However, in liquids and gases, still the particles are very close to each other. And the increase in the temperature does not make so much uh, increase in the amplitude of the vibration. Question number six, what are the, you are at the street corner and hear an ambulance siren without looking, how can you tell the ad when the ambulance passes by? Uh, if ambulance approaches to you, so you are the observer, if amb ambulance approaches to you, you are going to hear a high pitch, high pitch sound. When it's more away from you, you are going to hear a, a sound of low pitch. Uh, as the uh, ambulance pass by you, you are going to observe a sudden drop in the pitch you perceived. Question number seven. Why do ultrasound waves produce images of uh, objects inside the body more effectively than audible sound waves do? Because audible sound waves have a longer wavelength longer wavelength, uh, ultrasonic waves, shorter wavelength, very short wavelength. 
to observe uh, an object inside human body, the wavelength of the uh, wavelength of the source must be uh, equal or uh, smaller than the dimension of the object. So, if the uh, wavelength is small, then you can uh, take the picture inside the body. But uh, in audible sound waves, the wavelength is very big. For that reason, you cannot observe uh, or to take the picture of a uh, small objects inside the human body. Question number eight. If the wavelength of a sound source is reduced by a factor of two, what happens to the wave's frequency? What happens to its speed? So speed is constant because speed only changes with uh, the medium. Yani you should change the medium as uh, the wave must travel from one medium to another or another thing is you should change the property of the medium. So as you see in this question, none of them has changed. So for that, the speed remains constant. If speed is constant, wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional. If the wavelength is reduced by a factor of 2, which means you are going to divide the wavelength by 2, to keep, to keep the speed constant, you should multiply the frequency by 2. This uh, Then 2 will cancel and result will be the same. So then if wavelength decreases by a factor of 4, by a factor of 2, frequency increases by a factor of 2. Question number 9. As a result of a distant explosion, an observer first senses a ground tremor, then hears the explosion. And first you, sh you feel the ground is shaking, then you hear the sound of the explosion. What accounts for this time lag and time, time difference? Because in the uh, is ground, which is because of solids, and sound travels in salt faster than the air. Question number 10. A fire engine is moving at 40 meter per second. So a fire engine is moving with 40 meter per second and sounding its horn. A car is in front of the fire engine is moving with 30 meter per second. There is another vehicle, which is a van in front of the car is stationary, not moving. Which observer hears uh, the fire engine sound at higher pitch? So remember, in, to hear the higher pitch, uh, there must be a relative motion between the uh, observer and the source, and uh, they must move relatively uh, closer to each other. So the driver of the car, uh, the fire engine, and is approaching the, the car by a relative speed, which is 40 minus 30, which is 10 meter per second. But the same fire engine is approaching to one with uh, 40 minus 0, which is 40 meter per second. So because the fire engine is approaching to the one with a greater speed, 40 meter per second, so in the uh, is observer inside the van will hear a higher pitch than the observer inside the car. Question number 11. A bat flying towards a ball emits a chirp, a sound, at 40 kilohertz hertz is the frequency of the echo received by the bat greater than or less than or equal to 40 kilohertz so then sound is traveling through the wall hits the wall and reflects back again so uh, and uh, the bat again hears its own sound however in, at the beginnings uh, the bat is a source so source source is approaching to the uh, to the wall the later uh, the same bat is also observer for the in reflected pulses. Yeah, the bat itself at the same time source and observer too. As you see, distance between the source and observer decreases by time. If distance decreases uh, between the source and observer, so we can say that pitch rises. So it will hear a, it will uh, detect a uh, echo which is greater than 40 kilohertz. So, next question, question number uh, 14, it says, what is the difference between the intensity and decibel level? Intensity is uh, uh, pi power divided by 4 pi r squared, but decibel level is a perceived loudness. Perceived, yani yeah, the loudness which is perceived by the human uh, ear is called decibel level. Question number 15, under what conditions does resonance occur? Remember, resonance occurs only if uh, there are two systems which are vibrating with the same natural 
frequencies. If the vibration of the frequency, uh, vibration of frequency of the vibrations are equal, then we can say that these two systems are in resonance. Question number sixteen: A noisy machine in a factory produces a decibel rating of eighty decibel. How many identical machines could you add to the factory without exceeding the nine decibel limit set? limits set by federal, federal regulations so the initially the uh, decibel level or uh, relative intensity is 8 decibel we want decibel level to increase a number which is 90 decibel of course uh, the machines one machine is making a sound 8 decibel how many machines are making that sound which is 9 decibel we are going to find that but Remember that mm, sound intensity uh, is directly proportional to the number of meshes, not decibel level. Ratio between the final sound intensity to initial uh, sound intensity. So 10 to power of 9 divided by 10 to power of 8 is the ratio between the sound intensity. Remember we said to take 8 here and 9 there. Take the ratio. It is equal to 10 over 1. So what does it mean? Sound intensity, if initially sound intensity is 1, finally sound intensity becomes 10. A question says that initially there is just one mission. Yani if there are one mission, initially, finally there will be 10 missions. So finally 10 missions, initially 1 mission, when you subtract them, 9 missions must be uh, added to the uh, system. So then uh, that uh, decibel level will increase from 80 decibel to 90 decibel. Question number 17, why is the intensity of an echo less than that of the original sound? In fact, it is not difficult to understand. So as to say that that is the wall, initially a sound uh, is produced uh, at a point, but by the distance, sound intensity decreases as the distance increases because sound is uh, split over a larger uh, surface area. But after reflection, it, start, it continues to as expand more and more. For that reason, intensity of sound decreases when you hear your sound's echo because it travels a longer and longer distance. As the distance increases, sound expands on a larger surf, uh, spherical area, so sound intensity decreases. Why are pushes given to a playground swing more effective if they are given at certain regular intervals than if they are given at random positions in swing cycle. So if uh, the, your hand and swing is uh, moving in the same direction with the same frequency, or they have the same uh, natural frequencies. If their natural frequencies are equal, this is the condition for resonance. Then uh, it is the uh, most efficient way to add a system energy so if the uh, frequencies are equal and if the systems are in resonance all those soldiers usually uh, required to march together in step they must break their march when crossing a bridge explain the possible danger of crossing a uh, rickety bridge without taking this precaution because the while the uh, soldiers are marching over passing through at bridge uh, this you remember all the particles are all the objects are vibrating the bridge is also vibrating so if the marching vibration of the soldiers and the bridge natural vibration or uh, natural frequencies uh, match each other in this case the soldiers will add energy to the uh, vibrating bridge and bridge will start vibrating in a greater amplitude finally uh, so this can cause bridge to be destroyed. Next question, question number 20. It says a bo baseball coach shouts at an umpire standing 5 meters away. So distance to the source because the coach is the source here. Uh, 5 meters away. If the sound power produced by the coach is 3.1 times 10 to the power minus 3, so it's the power produced by the coach, what is the decibel level of the sound when it reaches the umpire? As I said, umpire right here is this coach is shouting, it is the power, which is the source, but 
at a distance of r somewhere here because distance increases the sound intensity right there will decrease as distance increases first we should find the sound intensity later we will define the decibel level sound intensity is equal to power divided by 4 pi r squared why because 4 pi r squared is the surface area of a sphere and we know the sound is expanding on a spherical shell so uh, i is equal to power divided by 4 pi r squared so sound intensity becomes 10 to the power minus 5 in that uh, region however we should calculate the question asked about the uh, decibel level uh, decibel level is equal to log 10 logarithm i over i you remember i we just calculated it here we are going to write i here i o is 10 to the power of minus 12 when you write them into the equation 10 to the power of minus 5 to the 10 to the power of minus 12. So this ratio becomes 10 to the power of 7. Then you are going to get the 7 to the in front of the logarithm, logarithmic f, um, function. So the result will be 70 decibel. Another question 21 is again about uh, uh, sound intensity. A stereo speaker represents, uh, is represented by P, right here as stereo speaker, emits sound waves with a power of 100 watts, so power of the Still speaking, right there is 100 watt. What is the intensity of sound waves at a point X where an R is equal to 10 meters? So 10 meter away somewhere here, what is the sound intensity? So R is 10, we will find sound intensity. Equation for sound intensity is equal to power divided by 4 pi square. Power is known, uh, 4 pi is known. R is 10 meters square of 10. So answer becomes 0 0.08 meter per watt per meter squared. Question number 22, what is the fundamental frequency? Remember, fundamental frequency is the smallest frequency which can form a standing wave on a string or uh, inside a pipe. How are harmonics related to fundamental frequency? Harmonics are multiple numbers of fundamental frequency. Remember, fundamental frequency is F1. So second harmonic F2 is equal to 2 times F1 or uh, third harmonic is equal to 3 times F1. So this is for a uh, string instrument or open at board and uh, pipe. But for uh, closed at one, one and pipe, fundamental frequency is F1. Uh, next harmonic following hand is the, or the F3 because in a one and closed pipe only uh, odd uh, harmonics are present. Next question, question number 23. The figure below shows a stretched string while bringing in its, its several of its modes. If the length of the string is 2 meters, so that distance is equal to 2 meters, what is the wavelength of the wave on the string in part A, B, C and D? So we will find the wavelength of the wave right here. As you see right here, it is just, there is just one loop. So each loop has a 0.5 lambda. Uh, length so then in the part a uh, length is equal to 0 0.5 lambda 1 and lambda 1 over 2 is equal to length so cross multiply lambda 1 is equal to 2 times length 2 times 2 because length is 2 answer is 4 and the second one so length is equal to 2 meter again the same string but there are one and two loops so each loop is 0 0.5 lambda 0 0.5 lambda when we add them it becomes one lambda in part b length of the string is one lambda and lambda 2 is equal to l so lambda 2 is equal to 2 meters in part c there are uh, one two three loops so each loop is 0 0.5 lambda so when you multiply by by three so length of the uh, string becomes 1.5 lambda 3 so lambda 3 becomes 2 divided by 1.5 which is 1.33 meters and for one there are one two three four loops so four times 0 0.5 which is 2 2 lambda 4 is the length so 2 lambda 4 is equal to length in this case lambda 4 becomes 2 divided by 2 which is 1 meter Why does a pipe close at one end have a different harmonic series than an open pipe? Remember, in an open pipe, uh, so because both ends are open, uh, open ends behave uh, as an empty note, and between these two empty notes, there is one note. But for a closed at uh, one end pipe, closed end becomes uh, a note, 
uh, then this is antinode. Uh, as you see right here, the uh, length is equal to lambda over 4 for the first harmonic, but for open at both end, it is lambda over 2. So for that reason, uh, the closed end uh, pipe has a different harmonic series than the open end both end pipe. Next question, why does a vibrating guitar string sound louder when it is on the instrument than it, is, it does when it is stretched on a workbench? And which means on the workbench only there is string not connected to the body. Uh, because string has a very uh, small uh, surface area, so less number of, uh, number of um, uh, air molecules are in contact with the string, so the sound becomes weaker. But when you uh, connect it with an instrument, because the string is uh, forcing the uh, string uh, for uh, forcing the instrument's body to vibrate because there are so many molecules air molecules are in contact with the uh, instrument's body so the intensity of the sound uh, increases question number 25 a student records the first 10 harmonics of a for a pipe is it possible to determine whether pipe is open or closed by comparing the difference in the frequencies between the adjacent harmonics with the fundamental frequency as possible. Remember, in open uh, and pipe, harmonics are all harmonics are present. Assume that initial fundamental frequency is 100. The following becomes 200. Next one is 300, and the following one is 400, and so on. But if it is closed at one end, and fundamental frequency is 100, the following becomes 300, and the next one becomes 500. And next one comes 700. So by searching this series of the harmonic, uh, you can understand it is closed at one end or open at both ends. Question number 27. A fluid is similar to a pipe open at both ends, while clarinet is similar to a pipe closed at one end. One of them is open at both ends, the other one is closed at one end. Explain why the fundamental frequency of the fluid is about twice that of the clarinet, even though the length of these two instruments are uh, the same. Remember, a closed and one end pipe, a uh, closed end is not, open end is anti -note, but for open and both ends, both ends, open ends are anti -note, uh, right here is the note. So in this case, um, length, of, because the lengths are equal, however, uh, closed at one end uh, pipe, uh, length is equal to 0.25 lambda, and this makes the lambda as 4L. But uh, in open at both ends, length is equal to 0.5 lambda, so this makes lambda as 2L. Uh, because they are traveling in the same medium, their speeds are equal. In this case, the one which has longer wavelength will have a shorter frequency. Which one's a longer wavelength? So uh, the uh, Closed and one end has a longer wavelength, for that it will have a sh smaller frequency. Because it has a two times greater wavelength, also will have a two times smaller frequency. The fundamental frequency of a note produced uh, by a fluid will vary slightly with temperature changes in the year. For any given note, will an increase in temperature produce a slightly lighter fundamental frequency or slightly slower one? Remember, the, uh, it's open at both end uh, tube is uh, fluid, so it's equation for uh, frequency is equal to uh, n times v divided by 2L. As the temperature increases, uh, the wave starts moving faster. As this wave moves faster, fundamental frequency, because it's proportional to directly proportional to speed, the fi uh, fundamental frequency will uh, increase. Next question, question number 29 it says that what are the first three harmonics of a note produced by three, 31 centimeter long violin string if the waves on the string have a speed of 274.4 meter per second so wave on the string is 274.4 31 centimeter its length l is equal to 0.21 so we will find v1 f1 f2 and f3 so general equation for uh, String because it's fixed at 
of both end so its length is l in this case one amount of linguist equation n times v divided by 2l we know for the first harmonic n is equal to 1 for the second harmonic n is equal to 2 for the third harmonic n is equal to 3 so speed is given and length is given when you write them and calculate for an amount of frequencies 243 second harmonic will have the twice of that number third harmonic will have the three times of the one of fundamental frequency next question it says that the human ear channel is about 2.8 centimeter long and can be regarded as a tube open at one end yes it's open and at one end the other end is closed because it's closed at the eardrum what is the fundamental frequency around which hearing to be best when the speed of the sound in the ear is 340 because the length of the it's if you think it's a tube its length is all 2.8 centimeters so 0.028 meter speed in, of the wave inside the, uh, inside the ear is 340 so calculate the fundamental frequency so in the question stating that it is closed at one end a tube so its equation is n v divided by 4l fundamental frequency n is equal to one so when you write it one so answer becomes 3036 uh, hertz Next question, a pipe that is open at both ends has a fundamental frequency 320 hertz when the speed of the sound is 331 meters per second. It's the speed of the wave uh, inside the tube. What is the length of this pipe? What are the next two harmonics? So, uh, fundamental frequency is 320, it's F1. Speed of the wave is given as 331, so calculate the length. Fundamental frequency equation we divided by 12, we are going to calculate the L simply. Uh, cross multiply then l becomes v divided by 2 f1 so v is 331 2 times f1 so it is 0.50 uh, 3 to 2 meter so what are the next two harmonics yani f2 and f3 because the fundamental frequency is f1 next harmonic is f2 the following is f3 so because it's open at board and uh, the all harmonics are present so f2 becomes two times the fundamental frequency f3 becomes three times the fundamental frequency f2 is 640 f3 is equal to 960. so question number 23 the range of human hearing extends from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz so it's the audible region remember smaller than 20 hertz is infrared greater than 20,000 hertz is in ult ultrasonic find the wavelengths of these extremes when the speed of the sound in air is equal to 343 meters per second so uh, the minimum uh, frequency is given as 20 hertz maximum is given as 20,000 hertz so the speed of the sound is given we will calculate the what maximum wavelength is what minimum wavelength is because if the frequency is minimum uh, wavelength becomes maximum if frequency is maximum wavelength becomes minimum so a question we are going to use is equal to speed is equal to lambda times frequency so then uh, lambda becomes speed divided by frequency for minimum uh, wavelength we are going to use the maximum frequency so speed of the sound is 300 43 maximum frequency given in the question is 20,000 hertz so uh, it's um, answer is 0 0.070 meter for maximum wavelength and long longest wavelength uh, speed of sound is the same again a minimum frequency is 20 hertz when you divide them it is the 17 meter so then range the wavelength is changes between 0 0.070 meter to 17 meters Question number 33. A dolphin in 25 degrees Celsius seawater emits a sound directed towards the bottom of the ocean, 150 meters below. How much time passes before it hears an echo? So, it is the bottom of the ocean. Right here is the sound source, which is the dolphin. Dolphin sends the sound. Sound must travel to the bottom. So, it is 150 meters. However, to hear the sound again, the sound must reflect and come back again. So, it must also travel one more 150 meters. So, total distance traveled by the sound will be 150 plus 150, which is equal to uh, 300 meters. So, to calculate the time, we should divide distance by the speed. Speed is given uh, in the sound as 1000 
5 and 30, it's not giving this question, but must be normally given. But from the table in your book, you can get this. So time of the, the travel of the sound is 0.2 seconds. Question number 34. An open organ pipe is 2.46 meter long. So length of the organ pipe is pipe is 2.46 and the speed of the air in the pipe is 345 it is the speed of the wave inside the pipe 345 meter per second what is the fundamental frequency of the pipe so f1 we will calculate because it's open at board end equation for calculating the fundamental frequency v divided by 2l so v is given 2 is 2 l is given so it is the 70 hertz how many harmonics are possible in the normal hearing range uh, to and from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz? So 20,000 hertz corresponds to what, which harmonic? First, we should find that. Remember that uh, frequency of the source is equal, harmonic is equal to number of the harmonic multiplied the fundamental frequency. To calculate the end, we should divide the frequency, which is the 20,000 thousand is given in the question uh, divided by fundamental frequency so when you divide 20,000 by fundamental frequency 70 you get a number which is equal to 285 yeah uh, at that uh, frequency the uh, the harmonic uh, the number of the harmonic is 285 why don't you use 20 hertz because the f fundamental frequency is 7, 70. For that reason, uh, none of the frequencies smaller than that number can produce a standard standing waves. For that reason, we shouldn't uh, take care about, uh, about the 20 hertz. Question number 35. The fundamental frequency of open organ pipe corresponds to the middle note C, which is equal to 261.6 hertz on a chromatic musical scale. So the third harmonic is F3 of the old organ, another organ pipe that is closed at one end has the same frequency. Compare the length of these two pipes. One of them is <coughs> open, the other one is closed end. So fundamental frequency of the open organ pipe is equal to F3 of the closed end pipe. So their equations are different. For open end pipe, fundamental frequency is equal to uh, F1 V divided by 2 L open, but for closed N1 fundamental, it's given the third harmonic F3 is equal to 3 times V divided by 4 L. So these two frequencies are equal. Question says that we are going to make them equal. F, let me do it here. F1 is equal to F3. F1 is equal to speed of the sound divided by or the wave divided by 2 L open. So equals to. 3 times V divided by 4L closed. So, this two are equal. So then we cancel. Uh, simplify 2 and 4, this becomes 2. So then 1 over L open is equal to 3 over 2 times 1 over L closed. So, uh, let's get the L closed here, so L closed 1 divided by L opened is equal to 3 over 2. And closed 1 is 1 1.5 times longer than the open 1, or a longer 1 by a factor of 1.5. A Formula 1 car moves away from a fixed observer who hears the sound of its engine of 20 percent deduction of its original frequency what is the speed of the car so reduction 20 percent means so uh, lower pitch there's a lower pitch but it's given in percentage if it is in given in percentage it's not a, a problem to give a number say that initially uh, f frequency is 100 hertz so 20 percent reduction uh, corresponds to frequency which is equal to 800 minus 20 which is equal to 80 hertz so if the source is moves away from the observer so the pitch will drop to make its drop you should add the source to the denominator yeah you should make the denominator greater to do that you should add v plus v is, is equal to 100 times speed of uh, sound 340 divided by 340 plus v source so then cancel those so 8 divided by 
10 which becomes 0 0.8 is equal to 340 divided by 340 plus v source when you cross multiply them you will get this uh, 0 0.8 times 340 is 272 multiply plus 0 0.8 times vs is equal to 340 when you do this calculation your result will be 85 meter per second question number 37 a bat flies towards a fixed wall and sends ultrasound of frequency of 80 kilohertz and hears the reflected wave with a frequency of 90 kilohertz so it hears a higher pitch give the expression of the appropriate frequency of the this wave when it strikes the wall so uh, now assume that there is here is the wall let's answer the first part a so uh, the bed itself is the source source is approaching to the wall with a frequency with the speed of vs so if it is approaching to the this is the observer is the wall in this case observer is the wall if source approaches to the observer observer will hear a higher pitch to make the pitch higher so you should make the denominator smaller so you should put here a negative sign so this is the uh, equation for uh, a give the expression of the apparent frequency of this wave when it strikes the wall so f prime is equal to f uh, times v divided by v minus v bet so part b what is the emitting source of the ultrasound waves on the way back on the way back this ultrasound uh, waves uh, hits the wall and reflects from the hole in this case wall behaves like the source in part b part c determine the flying speed of the bat uh, speed of sound in air is 340 meter per second. Uh, now, right here, uh, uh, very interesting case is this bed itself, while it's uh, moving towards the wall, it's the source. But after reflecting the sound from the wall, the bed becomes the observer too. So, the, so in this case, both observer and sound is approaching towards each other. In this case, if the source is approaching so it will be negative on the numerator if this uh, observer is approaching it will be positive in the numerator so in this case frequency observed by the bat will be equal to f times v plus v bat divided by v minus v bat so 90 kilohertz is heard heard 80 kilohertz is the source v is 340 plus v bat v 340 minus v bet. When you do this calculation and mathematic, so by following these uh, uh, steps, you will find the answer as 20 meter per second. Short answers, page 125. If you blow across the open end of a soda bottle and produce a tone of 250 hertz, what will be the frequency of the next harmonic heard if you blow much harder? So uh, now, if you it's soda bottle is uh, closed at one end, so only odd harmonics are present. So if you blow across the open end of the soda bottle, if you produce this, assume that this is the first harmonic. So the following, uh, following the next harmonic will be the odd number, third one. So three times f one. So because f one is three hundred and fifty, three times f one will be. 750 hertz the figure below shows a string vibrating in the sixth harmonic yes it's the sixth harmonic we can understand it by looking at the graph so because there are one two three four five six loops so each loop is one harmonic six harmonic then this one is six harmonic the length of the string is one meter so that length is equal to one meter long what is the wavelength of the wave on the string in fact uh, you don't need to know the which harmonic it is because you know that each uh, loop is 0.5 lambda because there are six uh, loops a uh, total length is equal to three lambda so if three lambda is equal to one meter lambda becomes one over three meters next question uh, question number 13 is also a short answer the power out with a certain loudspeaker is 250 watts so power is the 250 watts if a person listening the, to the sound produced by the speaker is if the, a person listening to the sound produced by the speaker is 6.5 meter away from the source what is the intensity of the sound intensity is equal to power divided by 4 pi r squared power is given 
4 pi r is given so answer becomes 0.70 uh, 0.447 extended response it says that you use the uh, for information uh, in the following information for the questions of uh, 15 and 14 and 15 be sure to show all your work so the area of the typical eardrum is approximately this number what is the sound power the intensity per second incident to the on the eardrum at the threshold of pain remember threshold of pain is one watt per meter square so it is in sound intensity area is given as in the question five times ten to the power minus five so calculate the power because you know the intensity is equal to power divided by area so cross multiply then power becomes intensity multiplied by area so intensity is one watt per meter square area is given the question as five times ten to the power minus five so this multiplication becomes five times ten to the power of minus five what so next question what is the sound power uh, incident on the eardrum at the threshold of hearing only changes sound intensity it is threshold of hearing it is 10 to the power minus 12 area is again the same again the same equation cross multiply them multiply them and find the answer and extended response uh, use the following information to solve the question 16 to 18 be sure to show all your work a pipe that is open at both hand so open at both hand has a fundamental frequency f1 is equal to 455 hertz when the speed of the air sound in the air which is the speed of the uh, wave is 331 meter per second how long is the pipe what is the frequency of the pipe second harmonic so fundamental frequency is given speed is given length is asked because it's open at both and this is your equation we divided by 2l for fundamental frequency we divided by 2l cross multiply them to calculate the l l is equal to v divided by 2f1 v is given f1 is given so then write them and calculate the length what is the frequency of the pipe second harmonic because open at what and second harmonic is f2 fn is equal to 2 times f1 2 times fundamental frequency so answer becomes 912 hertz and what is the fundamental frequency of this pipe when the speed of sound in air increases to 367 meter per second as a result of a rise in temperature? So length we just calculated in the question. So we are going to use that length. We calculated here. Speed changes uh, from 331 to 367. Fundamental frequency for the open end pipe is equal to V divided by 2L. So V is known 2 times L. So answer becomes uh, 510 uh, hertz.